Welcome to SU News Channel. Trump gives former rival Nikki Haley a standing ovation as she gives him her full endorsement and attacks Kamala after crowd booed start of her speech. Donald Trump gave his former rival Nikki Haley a standing ovation at the end of her rousing speech giving him her full endorsement in a show of unity at the Republican convention just three days after the failed assassination attempt. The Republican nominee sporting a bandage where a bullet ripped through his ear rose in his private box at the pumped-up Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as his former opponent in the 2024 race told the GOP to put our differences aside. Boosts for the former South Carolina governor were quickly drowned out by applause as she criticized Kamala Harris and urged the GOP to get behind Trump in the aftermath of the horrifying assassination attempt. Haley was part of a lineup that included another of Trump's ex-opponents Ron DeSantis and everyday Americans impacted by border crime and the opioid epidemic. The former president laughed at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis when he said the U.S. couldn't take four more years of a weekend at Bernie's presidency and mocked President Joe Biden's sleep schedule. After a brutal campaign, Haley put her criticisms of Trump aside after he dodged the bullet of gunman Thomas Michael Crooks to give him her full support in the general election battle with Biden. She also admitted that you don't have to always agree with him to vote for him and thanked him for his gracious invitation to speak on Tuesday night. I'll start by making one thing perfectly clear. Donald Trump has my strong endorsement, she said to thunderous applause. Our country is at a critical moment. We have a choice to make. For more than a year, I said a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for President Kamala Harris. After seeing the debate, everyone knows it's true. No president can fix all our problems alone, she said Tuesday. We have to do this together. America has an amazing ability to self-correct. In this moment, we have a chance to put aside our differences and focus on what unites us and strengthens our country. She took the stage just after Trump made yet another WWE-style walkout during night two of the Republican National Convention. The jumbotron showed the former president fist-pumping and smiling as he walked from the tunnels backstage to the convention lower bowl. A brief video montage of Trump dancing to the The Village People's YMCA set the awaiting fans alight with excitement and joy. Flashing red, white and blue lights and a roar of support greeted the former president as he emerged to his VIP box full of family, friends and his most loyal supporters. Day two of the GOP convention saw many popular Republicans take the stage, Vivek Ramaswamy, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, House Whip Tom Emmer, Republican Minnesota, and more. The speakers have decried Biden's border policies, the president's age and the vision of a renewed America under the leadership of Trump. One surprising guest, former Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley, who had a bitter primary with the former president before backing out, received massive boos as she took the stage. She turned the crowd around later in her speech, saying that you don't have to agree with Trump 100% to vote for him. The alternative Biden and Harris leading is way worse, she explained. Her calls for unity and consolidation around Trump marks the 45th president's total control over the Republican Party. She also sought to strengthen party unity amidst growing international threats. Our foreign enemies win when they see Americans hate each other. They see that today, whether it's on college campuses or in a field in Butler, Pennsylvania. But we can conquer those fears with strength and unity. She also spoke about the precarious position Americans find themselves in with inflated prices and social unrest. Our fellow Americans are fearful right now, she said. Families are suffering from inflation and wages that don't keep up with prices. Young people are being indoctrinated to think our country is racist and evil. The Jewish community is facing an obscene rise in anti-Semitism. Too many minorities are trapped in communities devastated by crime. A strong primary challenger who tried to paint Trump as a law-breaking, rule-defying, bully, Haley was not able to convince voters of her promise to make America normal again. But her reception by the former president, who gave her a kind applause and smile, may have, at least for the moment, quashed the beef between the two GOP powerhouses. Source, Dailymail.co.uk. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.